So last night, me, the man, and his parents went out to celebrate his birthday, and we went to this awesome restaurant. I've only been there once before, and they had this amazing, like, fancy Southern American food, and I got the smoked chicken. It was half of a chicken that was topped with what they called Alabama white sauce, and the sauce was so good. It was slightly spicy, but like super flavorful, almost like a ranch, but not really, a little vinegary. Very delicious. I'm gonna learn how to make that, I think, if I can find a recipe. But on this side, it did come with Brussels sprouts, and the Brussels sprouts were slightly sweet. They, I, I imagine they put some sort of brown sugar probably in there, so not the best keto option when you go out to eat it's a toss-up some things won't have sugar some things will some things will have flour added to like a sauce some things won't so you just gotta like test it and see so i did also get a side of green beans and it came with like a little i think it was a kale salad that also had like a slightly spicy dressing it might have been the same white alabama sauce but it was really good oh my gosh the chicken was smoked chicken oh my gosh it was so good <laughs> it was super flavorful but not dry at all so oh i just it really rubbed me the right way i guess but um for tonight it's sushi saturday for me it's sashimi saturday <laughs> um i was gonna go watch the man on his motorcycles and film it for you guys because he goes out to the stunt lot and he and his friends like to do wheelies on their little motorcycles. They're called Groms. <laughs> um, but it was kind of rainy today, like scatter thunderstorms. So we're just gonna wait a little bit and then go out to dinner later. I really like sashimi because it's all protein, a little bit of fat, and like I'll get a side salad or like a side of some garlic green beans that are really good. Um, so I'll show y'all what we get when we go out for Sushi Saturday. Okay, so we are here at our favorite sushi bar. I'm gonna get some sashimi and it's gonna be awesome. Lovely summer day. It's like 86 degrees outside. Love it so much. Perfect. All right, and here we go for our sashimi. We have six pieces of salmon, six pieces of white tuna, or it might be called escalar as well in some places, and then six pieces of yellowtail. Now, after all this sashimi I've eaten in my whole life, these are my three favorites. So I don't even bother with combos that have pre-selected sashimi pieces. These are what I get. These are the awesome garlic green beans. Honestly, I got them by accident one time. Just sauteed with some garlic and oil or butter or something, but super tasty. All right, once again, cheers, y'all. I'm starting with my salmon. It's so good. One of my favorite things. I always look forward to it. We eat this almost basically every single weekend, and you just you don't get tired of it. It's just fresh fish, and I love it so much. So I'm gonna finish my dinner, and I'll get back to you. Okay, so we just finished our dinner, and it was delicious. But I got my fortune cookie, and my fortune was the coming month shall bring you much happiness. Yeah, because it's June, and it's summer break. So yeah, I get that <laughs> as a teacher. Hey folks, today the man wanted to go and play some disc golf, which I've seen him do it once but he actually let me practice a little bit. I thought it was the same thing as Frisbee golf. Apparently it's not, I don't know, it's one of these things. <laughs> so after this, we're gonna go to the river and have like a little picnic and everything, but I just wanted to show you my disc golf throwing skills. Apparently this is how you do it. Yes, oh. all right, here we go. Oh no, I didn't go anywhere. <laughs> He's way better at it than I am. He literally threw it out of the park and went into the parking lot over there, so pretty neato. Just some light exercise, I guess, but the weather's perfect. Um, it's warming up a bit. I was a little chilly, so I got my jacket on. I think he's going to film me doing it real quick. Here we go. Okay. All right, here we go. Look at this. This skill you've got. Nope. Want to try another one? <laughs> no, two and three. No. Okay, last one. Here we go. Not awful. Not the best. <laughs> this is actually a really nice park. I've never been here, but he this was just like. They didn't used to not have this here. No? Oh, interesting. Super nice. We've got the bridge over there. We're like right outside of downtown. Super cool. I don't even see it. Oh, it's right there. I see it. So that's where I'm aiming to. Here we go. And oh, oh no, not the worst. Whoa, very nice. Okay, here we go from the rock. Five, 
Well, folks, suffice it to say, the man won. I lost. I had 11 points. How many did you get? No, wait, I had 13. You had negative one, but we are leaving this lovely place. And are we going to the river? Um, well, there's nine more holes if you want to keep playing. Oh. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> <laughs> um, you want to go to the river? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to go to the river. Okay, cool. So we're going to go to the river and have like a little snacky picnic. Okay, folks, we have trekked it all the way to the river, all the way, aka from the side of the road where we had to park at. We're not gonna use these picnic tables to have our little picnic. Um, apparently the man has a secret spot. <laughs> and apparently there's an obstacle course to get there. So we'll see what happens. Super pretty, awesome. Be, be your primitive side and go at it. Use all, use all fours. Use your hands and, the, hands and feet. Oh, you're just filming and walking at the same time? Oh. I'm the man, I can do what I want. I mean, you know who you're dating. <laughs> the little obstacle course was basically a death course, but that's all right, we made it. So, here's our little setup by the river. We have a little picnic ready to go. Some rocks, people over there playing some music, which is nice, nice to have. People floating down the river. Got some drinks and some food. So for the food, we have 52 grams of feta. 27 grams of olives and then 56 grams of prosciutto and this is all basically left over from what I got from my students as well on Friday. All right, cheers love. So, playing some cards as we wait here by the lovely river. So we're playing nine games of card golf and we did nine games of disc golf and he's definitely winning. If you've ever played golf, let me know. It's one of my favorites that we play all the time. But we are leaving the beautiful river we are going to go pick up some food. It's about 5 o'clock. Um, and I think we're going to go do some Greek. After the river, we went to Lowe's. Um, so for the man's birthday, I got him a fire pit and a plant and a plant pot. And I don't know, just some things. And we are going to go pick up some Greek. Well, we're going to go eat some Greek. And I've been going to this place since high school. And I'm just really excited. So let's go eat some dinner. It's about 6.15. Okay, so we decided to get an appetizer of the shrimp cocktail because we're pretty hungry. We had a very small lunch. Oh, did you even eat your snacks at the river? You didn't eat it. Have you eaten all day? No, you haven't eaten all day. And I just had like that prosciutto and cheese and all. So we're pretty hungry. And I think I'm gonna do chicken kebabs with a side salad and broccoli. Is it a Greek restaurant if they don't have clouds on the ceiling and Greek statues? I don't think so. I don't think so. All right, we got our Shrimp cocktail appetizer. I'm so excited. I might like mini dip. Just like get a little coating. I know it's carby, but it's the weekend and I'm not going to get a lot. That's my plan. Going for it. <laughs> All right. And here we go. Our salad. My favorite salad. That's Greek ever. And I always get the dressing here on the side. It's mostly oil, but I love it so much. I'm not sure exactly how they make it. Spices, oil, and maybe just a tiny bit of vinegar, but it's mostly oil. So get it on the side so that I'm not like calorie bombing my dinner with just oil. Oil is all fat, so a little bit goes a long way. But I'm so excited to eat my salad with extra feta. I'm a big fan of their salads here. It's my favorite Greek salad. Super duper delicious, and I like to get it with extra feta <laughs> on the side, and then I eat the feta on my chicken, and it's just marvelous. It's a wonderful experience. And this is the place that taught me to grate your feta. Don't crumble your feta, you should be grating it because it has a better spread. But I'm gonna enjoy my date with my handsome man over here and I'll get back to you. And we got our chicken kebab with the side of broccoli. I'm so excited, just steamed broccoli. There's no oil or anything on it. So super duper low calorie and low carb. So this is my super duper lazy keto weekend. I'm not measuring anything really. I measured the lunch that we took to the river, but for dinner, no measurements. But we keep it pretty keto and it's pretty easy to eat keto when you do go out. You can find definitely meat and vegetables wherever you go. Hey folks, okay, so I am wrapping the man's birthday gift. This is Christmas wrapping paper. It might be wedding wrapping paper. I don't know. It's like the least Christmas specific wrapping paper that we have, so it's gonna have to do. But um, I've been trying to figure out what to get the man for his birthday. So after the river, I took him to Lowe's He's been wanting a fire pit for the backyard, so I bought him a fire pit from Lowe's, and I bought him another plant and a pot for the plant. So that was half of his gift. And then the other half is what I have here today. So we have been getting into these resin art videos. Um, they're so relaxing. So we have just been watching people make resin art for months now. And 
I know he wants to get into it. So I went on Amazon and I like, you know, shopped a bunch of things and got him like his own little resin making art kit. So I'm really excited. That's the other half of his present. And let's see what we got. So I got him um, some UV resin, which I believe hardens with UV light. And I got him some mica powders to make the resin, you know, whichever color he wants, whatever type of art he wants to make. I got him some molds so that he can make cool little artifacts and things. And actually my favorite thing that I want him to make me is like a paperweight with a flower, like that's preserved inside of the resin. Like that's what I want him to make me. Hmm. And I like just a sanding kit. There's like, um, I don't know, some tools for resin in here to like scrape it off, some mats to lay it on, so I don't know. So I'm gonna wrap his gift. Um, he's out riding the motorcycle for a bit with his friend and I'm gonna have a little birthday surprise for him when he gets home. Here's the yummy cheesecake I made last night and I'm just trying to figure out how to get this um, plastic wrap off without all those water droplets falling onto the cake. Well, let's try. Nope, they fell right onto that cake, so we're just gonna soak it up. Okay, so this cheesecake is an altered version from Alton Brown. Um, he had a video here on YouTube, or somebody posted a video of him up here on YouTube. Anyway, so I basically just replaced the sugar with Splenda. So to make the best cheesecake that you will ever taste in your whole life, and I'll put this in the description too. It's super simple. All you do is mix three packages of cream cheese. 16 to 20 packets of Splenda or Stevia or whatever, according to your tastes. A third cup of heavy whipping cream, four eggs, and 280 grams of sour cream. Mix it all up. Throw it into a water bath in the oven, AKA get a big pan, put some boiling water on it, then stick your raw cake on a napkin in that big pan of water, and then bake it at 250 for an hour. Turn off the heat after an hour and let it sit in there for another hour so that it steams so that you have a nice custardy cheesecake rather than like something that's overcooked. Sorry, my camera ran out of uh, space to hold things. So best thing ever, definitely try this out. <laughs> I also um, whipped up like a strawberry topping. It's just a package of strawberries with lots of stevia, boiled it, mashed it up a little bit and our present. I just heard his motorcycle get here, so I'm going to surprise him. Well, folks, that's kind of how maintenance has been going. Um, on the weekends, I go real lazy. I go out to eat, but I'm back to it. This week's like Monday to Friday healthy, super duper lean, calorie conscious meal plan is stir fried beef. It's like 140 calories per 112 grams. I believe it's like the round sliced really thinly with just some mixed vegetables, some oil. For lunch, I've been doing some spiral sliced ham and cheese, and that's how I maintain my weight. Um, it's nothing fancy, especially Monday through Friday. It's good food that I enjoy, but it's very calorie conscious. It's not very fat heavy, but it's still keto because I do keep those carbs really low. I think my total carbs for today are like 18 net grams. So just because it's keto doesn't mean it has to be high fat. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you did, please do not forget to like and subscribe. That would help me out so much. I'm so glad I got to show you kind of like how weekends go. It was a special weekend. It was a birthday weekend, but, but generally pretty lazy on the weekends, you know, now that I'm in maintenance. But when I was losing weight, man, I was just so excited. I didn't get lazy at all. <laughs> Thank you guys again so much for watching. My name's Allie. Have a good one. Bye.